Welcome soldiers, this is Winch here. Another weapon analysis and kill zone, the STA-101. This unbelievable weapon and kill zone. By far none, my favorite weapon in all my gameplay thus far with kill zone. I just stumbled across it, so of course I had to make a video about it being this, the best gun in the game. <laughs> now, that, take that opinion with a grain of salt, salt, guys. You know, every weapon's different in every other player's hands, but the STA-101, not to be confused with the STA-61, It's they look the same, they're both semi-automatic weapons in the Scout class specifically, but there's night and day comparison between the two, being the fire rate. This weapon will fire as quickly as you can shoot it, and that's one of the great things about Killzone, is, is just the, the way the weapons perform in this game. If you, they perform like they should. When I hit the controller button as quick as I can, the gun fires as quick as, as I shoot it. And that's the way it should be. But, you know, some other games have a difficult uh, they have, they have difficulty representing, representing that capability, that functionality. But this weapon, uh, again, like I said, it's a semi-automatic weapon, but it's only limited basically as quickly as you can shoot this thing. It does not do as much damage as the STA-61, obviously, but again... That doesn't make any difference in the performance of this weapon. As you can see me, it's combing through these guys at point blank range. Even the guys coming out the spawn big in here at point blank. There's an epic shotgun fail. That guy just, just put a blast right next to my face. Somehow managed to miss me. Uh, but I just chewed through the four or five guys there at point blank range. And that's not where this weapon's suited. Obviously got an ACOG scope on this thing. I should be keeping my distance with this weapon. But I play aggressively. That's why I enjoy playing this game. It's just so much fun right now, guys. I play what's fun. I'm enjoying Battlefield 4, but just like everybody in the community right now, I think sometimes we want a breath of fresh air. By myself, just like you guys, I get frustrated with Battlefield as well. I get a little burnt out here and there. So having this game is a great reprieve from that. That's why I'm still playing this game. There's just so much going on here, man. Taking out that spawn beacon, taking care of this guy stealthily, trying to push up behind the team here. I don't have a silencer yet on this weapon, so this is kind of a, 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 a gutsy move here as I push up here with my back to the spawn behind me, trying to mop up this team. Now I'm going to show you some gameplay here in a moment when I unlock the silencer with this weapon. It just amplifies the effectiveness of this weapon uh, two times over. So uh, that's just, that'll be coming here in the second half of the video. Um, but, you know, like anything in this game, it takes... Uh, it, it, why I like this game, it's not like Call of Duty, uh, where it's a really twitchy type shooter, and like, that's where kind of my background came from before I went on to Battlefield, where I really like Battlefield being a, a good tactical shooter and having to use situational awareness and being aware of your weapon's weaknesses and map layout, destructibility. I can go on and on about Battlefield, but why I like this game is because I think it's just such a good blend between that experience I, I utilize with Battlefield and then the fun aspect of it, Call of Duty. So it's a good blend between the two games, as you can see. Uh, I'm using my tactical awareness and in this situation, taking cover behind these rocks and using my equipment, my sonar pulse there to triangulate guys on the mini-map, put them out, you know, taking advantage of the players not using, uh, or taking advantage of their lack of situational awareness and their poor tactics, and I'm turning that in my favor. This map, on this game mode right here, uh, in this one match that is, this is called Forest, this map is, I got two, kin, two 10 kill streaks just in this match, and that's pretty unusual, but with this weapon, I was capable of doing that because I know where it shines and it's good at, at these kind of ranges. So here I'm kind of showing more of the broad range of a spectrum with this weapon. Now bear in mind if you guys haven't played this game, it's it's more cumbersome moving. Uh, it, it feels heavier in the controls, but the more you play it, the more you'll get used to it. But also the big one is is that there is no aim assist in this game. So where you shoot is where your is where your gun looks. Uh, so you cannot count on any kind of of artificial enhancement in your aiming in this game. So it is rewarding when you actually get bullets on target and you're putting down the enemy and you're actually winning because it feels like a more genuine win, if you can understand what I'm saying with that. But here you can see i am kind of got a little bit of an elevation advantage. That's why I love this map for us. It's, it's, it's just got good cover, lots of flanking routes, there's elevation. Uh, it just plays out well. But like any map in Killzone, it does get... Uh, it, it is... Um, possible to spawn camp on this map but that kills that's a that's another topic of uh of concern right here i'm kind of up here a little too long as if you stay in one spot anywhere in any match not a good idea i'm seeing a guy up here with a support weapon shoulder mounted rocket shooting some stuff i mean again 
He's not using his weapon effectively. That weapon's not good at long range, and I put him down there as a peak that corner. So here's a silencer. I'm going to show you now gameplay here from here on out with this weapon with the silencer. It's a difficult attachment and a lock. You have to get 25 kills using the Echo Pulse, uh, tagging the enemy, and then killing them with it. So that takes some time to do. That's one of the things about Killzone. It takes a long time with every weapon to unlock specific attachments for it. But the silencer is a very effective tool. And unlike other games where you usually take... Uh, penalties for putting a silencer on your weapon. I have not observed that here in kill zone. I don't see any kind of bullet drop. I don't see any reduction of bullet velocity or damage models. So to me, there's really no reason not to run with a silencer. But again, I don't see many people do it because it it's usually takes so long to lock any kind of weapon. But uh, if, you, if you go through the work to unlock that weapon, I think that's probably one of the best attachments you can put on your gun because it's one of the things that kind of criticize about Killzone is that there's not much customization to your weapons. There's no barrel attachments. I mean, there, we can put a, a few sights on, but that's about it. There's no there's no camos or anything like that, so that kind of lacks. Um, but there are some pretty neat stuff you can put on your weapon, like tasers and missiles and, of course, M320 grenade launchers and that kind of stuff, shotguns. Uh, but the silencer will, of course, take the place of all those attachments. So you are giving up a lot to put this attachment on, but the bi the bonus is is that you get to use it the entire time. That you, every time you shoot your gun, you don't use it when you're just using that piece of equipment, like the you know the taser, for example, which is pretty fun to run with, by the way. So no reason really not to run with this weapon because this match was just unbelievable. I mean, this is a close quarters map, but yet I was still destroying guys at close range, and I had to put this in. I mean, this, is this just not hilarious, the humiliation moment at the end of the match, the tea time as they call it? Uh, I mean, I crack up every time I see that. I mean, our team just mopped the floor with enemy. I mean, right here I went 21-3, and three, I think. Uh, yeah, 21-3, just a great score. So this weapon, if you know how to use it, it can really reward you if you have good accuracy and, and you take the time to understand it. Because the, the, one of the great things about Killzone, like I said, is the weapon balancing. Uh, but this weapon is still capable of taking on any weapon at any range uh, effectively if uh, if you're smart about it and you can use it. So right here you can kind of see where I'm talking about the spawn camping. Uh, I don't like playing like this. I don't like matches that 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 uh, end up in these type of situations. I mean, if the, if the enemy team is just terrible and your team's good, it's going to get to the situation where you, you just start pushing back to the enemy spawn and, and there's nothing left for them to do other than run out and die. Now there's some flanking routes here. The guy does eventually get around behind me to knife me, which you'll see in a moment here, but I, I just wish there was some way to fix this in this game. It's my biggest criticism of the game is when you're on the receiving end of this, you just want to rage quit like no tomorrow. And when you're on the delivering end of it, you're just hoping the team can get out of here, but you have nothing to do other than do this. So uh, I wish the developers who are putting out DLCs and continue to support this game will do something to address this. But all in all, I, just, I think it's map design is really what it boils down to. So this final clip here, guys, I'll just show you the capability of this weapon. Just use caution. The bolt action, the one-shot kill sniper rifles will take you out with this thing. Um, but other than that, feel free to uh, to uh, peak corners. Keep yourself at medium range. That's really where this weapon's going to shine. My favorite weapon in this game. It's just so much fun playing this game right now, guys. Please, if you have a PlayStation 4, guys, take my word for it. You have to get this game. You just have to. You cannot overlook this game. I'm going to continue to put content out on it, guys, just every now and then because I really enjoy the game. Please like and subscribe. Kill Zone. We'll be wrapping up here with this final pistol clip as I pull out my charged pistol. Just so much fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the battlefield.